Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to charge batteries in parallel and what to do if you have different capacity batteries. I will also tell you what fuse and wires to use. If you do not wire your batteries correctly, it might lead to an imbalance and a reduced lifespan. Let's get started with the basics of parallel wiring. Parallel wiring combines all the positive terminals and all the negative terminals of the batteries. This adds up the capacity or amp hours while the voltage stays the same. If you want to increase the total power of your battery, but don't want to increase the voltage, then parallel wiring is the only option. Increasing your battery's capacity improves your battery's lifespan, because they will have to deliver less current than if you were using a single battery. It will also minimize voltage drop if you want to power large loads. How do you plan on wiring your batteries in parallel? Let me know in the comments. Wiring batteries in parallel might seem easy, but there are best practices that need to be followed. Firstly, you should use batteries of the same voltage and chemistry. If you use lead acid batteries, you should use batteries of the same age. This doesn't matter much for lithium, because they degrade much slower. Do not mix lithium and lead acid because they have different voltage and charging profiles. When you connect batteries in parallel, they do not need to be the same state of charge. The batteries will automatically balance to the same voltage. This is different from a series connection, where the batteries have to be charged before connecting them. Connecting two batteries in parallel is easy. Connect both positives and negatives. Then have a positive lead from the battery 1 and a negative lead from battery 2. Why do we have the leads on different batteries and not just on battery 1? This is to share the current between two batteries equally. If we do not, battery 1 will work harder than battery 2 and age faster. This becomes even more important in larger batteries. This is called current sharing. We have to share the current over all the batteries. Take this example of 5 batteries in parallel. Battery 1 will have the lowest resistance. Because the more wires and lugs we have, the higher the resistance. So most of the current will come from battery 1. While battery 5 has the most resistance, so the least amount of current will come from there. If you have a lithium battery, the BMS will stop charging once the battery is full. The proper way of wiring this battery is to have the main connection on battery 2 and battery 4. This is optimal wiring for current sharing. An even better way is to use bus bars. This has even less resistance. If you wire to a bus bar, ensure the cable lengths are the same, because this will make all the batteries have the same resistance. As you can see in this example, the batteries are wired to a bus bar. The length of the cables is the same for every battery. I recommend wiring a maximum of 5 batteries in parallel, if you wire them to the battery posts directly. If you have more than 5 batteries in parallel, then I recommend dividing them into sets and wiring them to a bus bar, as you can see in the following image. But this case would be quite rare for my viewers. Do you like the video so far? Consider liking and subscribing, to keep updated when I release new videos. A common question arises when people have different capacity batteries. Wiring different capacity batteries in parallel is generally not recommended but it can be done. Let me explain with an example. We have a 1 12 volt 100 amp hour battery and 1 12 volt 200 amp hour battery. The voltages of both batteries will stay the same if the battery is either 100%, 50% or 0%. If the battery is 100% charged, both batteries are at 13.6 volts. If the battery reaches 50%, battery 1 will have delivered 50 amp hours and battery 2 100 amp hours. If the battery drops to 0%, then the small battery has given 100 amp hours and the large battery has given 200 amp hours. Battery 2 will have given twice the current than battery 1. If we have a 150 amp hour load on it from an inverter, battery 1 will draw 50 amps while battery 2 will draw 100 amps. A client of mine recently had an existing 12 volt 200 amp hour battery consisting of two batteries in series. 
He then wanted to expand this battery with another two batteries, which were 12 volt 200 amp hours each. I then made a schematic on how to wire these batteries in parallel. As you can see in the image, each battery bank is wired to the bus bar separately. Every parallel battery should be fused. If we have these three batteries and one creates an internal short, the two other batteries will see it as a short circuit load and deliver a lot of current into the shorted battery. A lithium battery can deliver a short circuit current of 10 times its capacity. If we have a 100 amp hour battery, the short circuit current can be 1000 amps. The short circuit current for this battery is 2000 amps. If we install fuse on every battery, these will blow and the current will stop flowing. I recommend using a safety factor of 150% for sizing the fuse. For a 90 amp load, each battery will deliver about 30 amps. To accommodate for possible imbalances, we multiply the current by 1.5 to become 45 amps. We then need to select a fuse that can carry at least 45 amps. This is a 50 amp fuse. We then need a wire that can carry at least 50 amps. An 8 gauge welding cable is ok. A terminal fuse, or MRBF, is ideal to fuse batteries in parallel. Ensure the fuse is rated for your battery voltage. I made a video about this, so check it out after this one. If you want extra help sizing your solar system, you can get free diagrams about off-grid solar power through the link in the description. It has wire and fuse sizes, from small backup power systems to larger whole house systems. Check the first link in the description for more information. Should you wire your batteries in parallel? I recommend wiring in parallel if you want to expand your existing solar system. But if you are building a new one, you should focus on increasing the voltage by wiring batteries in series. Expanding your existing solar system by adding another battery in series will double the voltage, so you need to buy another inverter. If you wire batteries in parallel, you decrease the C rate of the battery bank. Let's say you have a 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium battery with a 1000 watt inverter. You will pull 85 amps. If you add another battery in parallel, then the current draw will be reduced to 43 amps. Effectively halving the current draw from each battery will increase its lifespan. To power a 2000 watt inverter on a 12 volt system with lithium batteries, you need at least two 12 volt 100 amp hour batteries in parallel. This becomes one big 12 volt 200 amp hour battery. Such a battery has a C rate of 1C. Thus, you can draw a maximum of 200 amps, while the inverter will draw a maximum of 167 amps. This battery is correctly sized. Let me know your questions in the comments. Subscribe for more videos like this, and watch these videos next.